God had allowed the Babylonians to take over Judah. Now God's people were living in Babylon as slaves. Ezekiel the prophet had been taken with God's people to Babylon. Even in captivity, God gave Ezekiel visions so he could tell God's people about the future. One day, God gave Ezekiel a vision. God led Ezekiel through a valley filled with old dry bones. God asked Ezekiel, can these bones come to life? Ezekiel replied, Lord God, only you know the answer to that question. God said, speak to these bones for me. Say, this is what God says. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am God. Ezekiel spoke to the bones. Suddenly there was a noise, a rattling sound. The bones were coming together, bones to bones, tendons to bones, flesh over bones, and skin over flesh. But there was no breath in the bones. God said, speak to the breath for me. Say, this is what God says. Breath, come into these bones so that they may live. Ezekiel did what God said and the breath entered the bones. They came to life and a vast army stood before Ezekiel. God said to Ezekiel, these bones are like my people of Israel. I want you to speak to them for me. God told Ezekiel to say, this is what God says. I'm going to bring my people back to the land of Israel. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. Then another message came to Ezekiel. God told Ezekiel to hold two sticks together in one hand, so they would become one single stick. The first stick represented the kingdom of Judah, and the second stick represented the kingdom of Israel. God explained that his people would be one nation. They would have a new king to rule over them and guide them. God said, my people will live forever in the land I gave to their ancestors. God would make a covenant of peace with his people forever. I will be with them, God said. I will be their God and they will be my people. Then everyone will know that I am the Lord. Apart from Jesus, we are like the dry bones Ezekiel saw. God showed Ezekiel his power to make dead people alive. We see God's power at the cross. Jesus died to save sinners. God raised Jesus from the dead, and he gives us eternal life.